Hello Aries, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a love reading focused specifically and strictly on tarot messages. So this time around I'm not including any oracle messages, just tarot. General advice as always, so please keep that in mind throughout and take from it what makes sense as always. So Aries, let's get into it and see what it is that needs to come forward here. I don't really have any questions in mind. I'm just trusting my angel guides and allowing the cards to bring forward the messages. So here we are. We are starting off with the Six of Wands. That's a great card, followed by the Two of Wands. So this is you, perhaps focused on future energies rather than what happened in the past. This could also be tied into your livelihood, your life purpose, as well as your love life. It's got the capability to be a successful union, perhaps. So that's pretty positive so far. Let's see what else. And the way I like to look at the Two of Wands, you know, it's giving you a couple of paths. And so it's up to you the direction that you ultimately go. There could be something from the past that you are wanting to revisit or go back to. There could also be this opportunity for you to go in a whole different direction and see what the future has in store for you. And again, that can apply to your love life, which we're focusing on here. But I'm kind of feeling for some of you, it's got something to do with life altering choices when it comes to your career as well. You know, that one choice that you make that could change the whole course of where you go. We've got the six of pentacles. We've got the 10 of pentacles, lots of pentacles coming in seven of pentacles so in a partnership what you are requiring from someone is for them to be equally invested in you the connection maybe you've experienced connections where they had one foot out the door or they were entertaining other people and that might have ultimately come to an end you know so that could have been something that you've experienced and therefore maybe at this point you've got higher standards as to what it is that you're expecting from your ideal person here. And I can't help but pick up off of this Ten of Pentacles, financial windfall, you know, your career, your money matters, that's popping up here as well, Aries. So you have the capability to be very successful in that area. You know, maybe you're expecting perhaps a promotion or a raise in pay. You know, this is a windfall, as you can see. This isn't a little bit of money here. We're talking a substantial amount that could really make a difference in your life if it's not happening quite yet the seven of pentacles is here to tell you you got to just give it a little bit more time you know it's a wait and see type situation you know it's on its way maybe you have the feeling that it's on its way to you it could be something really big for you so not just pertaining to your work environment but your love life as well just give it some time wait and see how it goes you know we do have the Divine Masculine coming in as the Knight of Cups. Very romantic energy. Okay, so this is somebody who's very charming, who can absolutely sweep you off your feet, Divine Feminine. Let's see here. The Eiffel Tower, Paris, could be a significant location for some of you. Maybe that's where you met or you've thought about going there. We do have the Four of Wands, which is a great card. This could be your twin flame for some of you guys. Maybe you know this. You feel this very special pull towards this person. You guys could be mirrored souls. Maybe you know this. The Four of Wands, of course, is our 1111 number in tarot. It's a make-a-wish number. It's a number to tell you, an angel number to tell you that you're on the right path in your life, or at least that's the direction that you're heading towards. The Four of Wands represents a foundation, a very strong foundation in a relationship. It can represent families, it can represent happy reunions, it can represent future marriage or a wedding, something to celebrate. Let's see what else. We do have the Two of Pentacles, which is all about balancing decisions, you know? And I was, as I was mentioning, that one life-altering choice that you make 
will have an impact on how the rest of your life goes, how the future is actually looking, you know, Aries. And so if you're feeling like you're doing too much right now, you know, maybe you're burning the candle at both ends. This is a time for you to really reassess where you're at. Seven of Cups, you've got many options, you've got choices to make. But sometimes, you know, somebody who's in this type of energy, they're just overwhelmed and end up making poor choices or wrong choices rather than taking their time to really get to the right conclusion or the right choice. Look at this. You're meant for happiness right here. You've got the sun coming through. I really like how that's presenting itself here for you, Aries. The sun, of course, is a very jovial, joyful, successful positive card. I mean, it's the best card in tarot. One of the best anyway. So I feel when it comes to your love life, there's somebody here that you're either already with and you guys are happy. This person fulfills you. They could be your dream come true. This is your ideal person. If you haven't found that connection yet through the choices that you do make, somebody who who really will check all the boxes they're on their way to you could be a twin flame could be a very romantic divine masculine coming in six of wands there's a reason why that's coming in i'm pulling from my valentine connection tarot it started off your reading here aries and it's coming through here again wands represents fire energy you are a fire sign there's something here for you and it's telling you you're going to be very successful very victorious so you don't want to saturate yourself in this energy of allowing your fears and anxieties to get in the way of being successful in your life love life life overall life purpose career all of it you know this can represent somebody who's also dealing with insomnia you know, somebody who can't get any sleep somebody who can't seem to stop their racing thoughts especially at night so if that's something that you relate to just know that you have to release those types of worries you've got the sun right here to calm those fears to let you know that better days truly are a part of your future you know divine feminine you're coming in as the queen of wands a courageous queen so if you're not feeling very courageous right now Look at all of the surrounding cards, letting you know that you've got the opportunity for so many amazing things to come in. Certainly when it comes to love and romance, it looks really nice as far as being able to connect with your ideal person, whether you see them as a twin flame or not. You know, the Queen of Wands is known to be very exuberant, vibrant. You know, you walk into a room and everybody pays attention. That's you, Divine Feminine. We've got the Lover's card coming in. Again, choices, love choices. And I feel, you know, you know what it's like to have been disappointed in love and romance, to get hurt, to experience heartbreak, people that couldn't show up for you. And so through these love choices that you're now in a position to make, and believe me, you've got many options as we can see here. You don't ever have to settle for somebody that falls short of what it is that you're looking for, you know, and you are meant to connect with somebody as we can see who has the capability to make you so incredibly happy. Could be a Gemini for some of you guys. This is compatibility right here. This is somebody who could be a very sensual, passionate lover. This is someone that you get along great with. Lots of fun conversations, lots of great adventures. This is somebody that matches you perfectly. We've got sixes popping up. So there's something tied into the past for some of you as well. Happy memories. Somebody's feeling very nostalgic here, thinking about those happy times in the past. So if you're in separation from somebody, they're thinking about you and they are perhaps wanting a reunion could be the divine masculine look at this so divine feminine if you happen to be cross watching for a divine masculine representing the aries here they are the emperor represents aries okay so this is somebody 
for some of you, this could be the father to your children. This could be somebody who could be in law enforcement. Could be that too. Maybe that's what they do for a living. The emperor is somebody who wants to swoop in and take control of a situation, you know, to be able to handle things here and have it be a very successful outcome. So Divine Feminine, if that's what you're hoping for and waiting for, I feel your masculine will be able to show up for you this time. Look at this. What your masculine is bringing in is a solid offer. That is the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone who's established. This is somebody who might be well off financially. You know, the Ace of Pentacles, of course, picks up off of prosperity and abundance. But this is also coming through as a solid offer, perhaps, of commitment, of marriage. This is somebody who means business, you know. And so whatever might have happened in the past that could have been challenging for some of you, we've got the Three of Wands. So they really are focusing more so on what's ahead rather than what's in the past. You know, it might take some time to be able to manifest certain things. Pentacles, once again, being rewarded for your efforts. So what's coming through in your reading here, Aries, this time is not only your love life going to be picking up, but your career, your finances look pretty good as well. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it's on its way to you. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Four of Wands coming through twice. There's something about the twin flame connection for some of you. You already know this or you've had your suspicion that this is a twin flame journey that you and this person are on. For some of you guys, this is a connection that's currently in separation, but there's the opportunity certainly to come back to have a reunion here. That is what I'm seeing there. And look at the next card. We've got the six of pentacles showing up again. So as you can see here, if they didn't show up for you before, if they weren't equally invested in the partnership before, they certainly are now. So I have a feeling here, Aries, they're not going to disappoint you. If they if they disappointed you before because there could have been a lack of effort on their part, that's now coming through here that they are all in, fully invested. All right, guys, so I'll leave this one there. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below. I'll see you next time.